Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we got a couple of stories out there of fires on cruise ships. And now I gotta tell you about this story of somebody who is going on their dream vacation. They're going down to Sydney. They're gonna see kangaroos and koala bears. It's a once in a lifetime vacation to Sydney. And how three little letters really mess things up. So our first story earlier this week, we had the brand new Icon of the Seas being worked on, being built, still under construction. Uh, yeah, something broke out. A fire broke out, apparently in one of the upper stairwells on the ship. The entire shipyard had to be evacuated while the emergency crews went in and put the fire out. Apparently, the, the, the damage isn't huge it's not structural so it looks like things are going to be okay it's not really going to cause a big deadline uh crunch or anything like that in fact within 45 minutes they were back to work after being evacuated from the ship so that's good news because uh, we all seen all these brand new ships coming out and supply chain issues and things like that cause those first four five six cruises to be cancelled well Hopefully that this, this fire isn't one of those things that something got damaged that they need and they, they couldn't go. But by all accounts, it looks like it was just superficial and uh, nobody was hurt. That's the good news. And speaking of nobody hurt, another cruise ship broke fire in Sydney, Australia. The Viking Orion had a cabin fire. Something happened. Apparently some electronics or something like that caught fire in a cabin. We haven't been cleared what exactly caused the fire yet because it's under investigation, but they had to evacuate everybody on board. Over 800 people on the ship had to evacuate at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, that would be a very disturbing wake-up call for everybody, uh, but apparently nobody was hurt and the damage was roughly to three cabins, probably smoke, inhalation, and like the smell would probably be on those two cabins beside them. So uh, uh, luckily, again, no crew member was hurt, no passenger was hurt, and uh, the ship is still sailing. The ship still set sail. There wasn't any kind of damage that would prevent the ship from cruising normally. And so they'll get that fixed up as best they can. They'll get it fumigated, change everything, and whatever structural repairs, I'm sure they'll get done in and out of port at a couple here and there, but it just goes to show you, yeah, yeah, I'm curious to see what was the electronic that might have caught the fire. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it's not an espresso machine. So, <laughs> okay, you have you have to see that, that other video. Uh, now we have, how would you, oh, I don't even know how to plan, explain this, but I, I come across it all the time. How when you're booking your airfare to your dream destination, you have to be more careful than you think. But before I get there, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. You wanna keep up to date with all things cruising, everything from fires on ships, maybe the ships are gonna be delayed, for what's happening in the cruise ports, from reviews of the cruise ships, like here on the Norwegian Breakaway. Just saw another show last night, six, great show last night. Everything was good. I have more reviews on this ship after I, I get home and can do some more editing. But I hope you'll join us here. It's been a great time and meeting a ton of people on board called the Vlogger Extravaganza. And uh, I just hope you'll join us on this journey and just hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing and it really, really helps the channel out. And I really do appreciate it. Okay. A gentleman was going, speaking of Sydney, to Sydney for an Australian dream vacation. And he was all excited. He got on the plane and he started flying and he looked down and he saw white capped mountains and the flight was very short and he started to get worried. <laughs> well, there was a reason for that. <clears throat> he was flying to Sydney, Montana, spelled with an I, S-I-N. The three letter abbreviation for one of the cities is S-D-Y, 
and for the other city is SYD. So when he booked his flight, he booked Sydney, Montana. Now, I think he got a really good deal because it cost me nearly $10,000 to fly to Australia. <laughs> I don't think it costs that much to fly to Sydney, Montana, but it just shows you have to be careful on every single part of your booking and don't just, oh, that's got to be it. Especially when you're looking at airlines. There are so many airline codes that are almost identical. The biggest mistake I see, for instance, in, in Canada is people will search Sydney, but it'll come up Sydney, Nova Scotia. And I've actually seen people book Sydney, Nova Scotia instead of Sydney, Australia. Now, the person was really, he, there's this whole story and article on it where he ended up at a hotel and the agent there at the hotel drove them to the airport and helped them out in all kinds of ways with customer service and things like that. But my thing, <laughs> my thing is when you're boarding the plane to go to Sydney, Australia, and you don't go into the international flights, you're still in local flights. Maybe that should have dawned on you by then <laughs> that you're not flying to Sydney, Australia. Just, yeah, I can't imagine doing that, but uh, I have seen people do it and it, I, but I think they catch it. This is one of the first ones I've heard of them actually arriving at the city and not noticing, hey, we're going to the wrong place when you get to the airport. Because it did say Sydney, but it usually says Sydney, Australia. It, this one said Sydney, Montana. So when you're booking your airfare, be careful and, and make sure you're actually booking the city you're going to. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe, in a great vacation.